Alright, I am going by this YouTube live and stream my preparations for tomorrow's Illinois Orchid Society meeting as I'm doing them. Um, I'm doing this on my phone so I don't think I can respond to comments as they come in. Um, and also I'm going to put my phone down a lot. So we'll see how this goes. Probably nobody's going to watch, but hey. Um, I think the only downside of this is that uh, it's really hard to focus on stuff. Um, so it's going to be hard to zoom in and focus. Like, you know, I'm sure it could be a lot better if I was editing this. It wouldn't be quite so orange. It wouldn't be quite so blurry. So anyways, um, for tomorrow's meeting, I need to get all the vandas down um, from up here. Vandas! Vandas, you see them? They're like way back there. I have to get them all down and put them in a crate. And uh, so I'm giving some, and I'm going to pack up some um, oncidiums. And we're going to try to stream this because I'm crazy. But also because I have limited upload speed at home. And so um, I can't record, say, anything longer than 15 minutes and actually be able to upload it without um, it failing. Uh, I have Comcast, and they have limited my upload speeds. Even though technically I'm paying for more, I don't seem to get it. So there we go. So let's see. What am I going to do? Oh, there's me trying to move my ladder. All right. So... First things first is, I guess I have to move the plants in front of those orchids so that I can get them down. So let's see, where can I put my phone <laughs> so people can see me trying to move plants? Da -da -da. I can stick you in a pot. I can stick you in a pot get that pot's wet. Whoops, that's my hand. Probably don't want to see my hand. Let's see, how does that look? Can you see anything there? Not really. Oh, the problems. What I really need is a cameraman. I don't have a cameraman. All right. These, I don't know, was this as wrinkly when I first moved it in? I had been spritzing them with a hand sprayer. Oh dear. All the way over here. Well, my phone. See, there's the tail. It's almost like a little feline snake right down there. This is pretty boring, everybody, isn't it? Well, that wasn't good because then, of course, everything fell and went sideways. I have you guys propped up. It's my phone propped up against a water bottle, which will make it if I can get out of here. All right. All right. Plant. Plant. So this plant just needs to come down so that I can move everything. Are you warming up? Yeah. How do you want to do your 
This one has no pot. Um, this one had a red flower on it. Peel the Spanish moss off. Root 
what's going on. See, because look at look at all this yellowing on the leaf here. So this looks like live Spanish moss, so we'll I'll keep that. It's not like anyone wants Spanish moss. Um, but this has, look at this, there's one, two additional growths on it, so it's this reddish, orange type flower. Hope somebody wants to try to resuscitate it. Vandas from up there. It's got more moss on it. Let me just get rid of the moss. Hope it doesn't moss sheds everywhere. Then you're like, oh my god, falling moss. Don't eat the plant, Pinto. So let's see. This has this really nice pink flower on it. Looks like a two tone, actually. It's like. Um, darker on the bottom and then lighter on top. It's pretty cool. This is a nod right here. This is yellow. It's still got some bloom power left in it. Pinto, stop eating it. Stop eating it, Pinto. So you can see the flowers right there. Uh, that would make eight. All right, this one has a tag, so I have eight no IDs, and this is Vanda Sonsry Blue Classic by Fitz's Heartthrob. It's got some nice roots on it. Thank you. 
interesting little act of send of. Got two big things. Oh, this has got more moss. More moss! We have an act to send a queen of Taiwan by Cook Spot, and an act to send a Cook Scroll by Clay Mulligan. Think of what people might We're something that people will like and that it will actually be a perfect stain color and perfect shape. Or something that's going to take that stain. Get to the fall then. There's people that will live and buy it. Actually, another one of the Songstery Blue Classics by Bits' Heartthrob. It has another, this one actually has a pink flower on it. Um, Renee's a pink flower on it. So they're pink. I weighed these things last week. They were like pound two pounds each. Supposedly Beth is bringing us around 16 bands. feel light but they need to be watered. Okay, so I've gotten all those down now, and um, that's not enough for all the volunteers. I uh, mailed and counted up all my volunteers and for the Illinois Orchid Society Spring Show, and I had about 40 volunteers, which actually ended up being a lot more than I was expecting because it always feels like we're asking for more volunteers and not enough people show up. But um, I had 40 people who signed up volunteer, and I think I remember seeing all of them. So I also have a whole bunch of oncidiums down here that of course are coming out of bloom that I'm going to give to my volunteers and so I need to put them in a box too. Um, the box is actually, without me leaving the room, I have two bulb crates sitting there 
Um, so you can see all the bandas. There's ten. That's ten bandas stacked up. And then I have another one in the back there. And then I'll fill a third bulb crate with um, my orchids. I'm going to have for the society show table. So what I need to do here now is to figure out. I do this, sitting this on the floor, popping it. All right, so I have got um, some tagged plants. Ah, sort of tagged plants here. This is um, Obsidian Gower Ramsey. I need is bringing, I have 40 some, so I need to bring, Beth is bringing 16, so I need to bring, um, um, uh, uh, 16, 26, I think, um, I need to bring, like, another 15, um, Obsidian Alliance plants. Uh, I told everyone that the, I had a lot of this plant right here. Um, and this is, this one right here is Miltonidium Pacific Paragon Honey Butter. Honey Butter. Let's see how many of those I have. I have one. Alright. This right stem doesn't need to go. There's no tag in that. Let's see. Two, three honey butters. Three. Let's see. Are those three? Four, five honey butters. Oh, and this one's really nice because look. It still has a bud on it. So whoever goes and picks out first will get really lucky tomorrow. Seven honey butter. Let me bring, what did I say? 10, 15. Let's see if I have 15 of these. still have more other orchids, but I only have 10, I only have 10 honey butters, no, 10, 11 honey butters. Eleven honey butters. Oh, that's 
Okay, Doc, I'm saying counting up into 15, 11, so I need four more orchids. Um, I have plenty of Gower Ramsey, so I will send those. One. Totally attached to my lemon tree. One, two, three. Three. Amy, you're, you're standing in the way of the video. Three. Four. Oh wait, this is another honey butter. No, it's a mama. Irene mama. We'll take it. Um, all right. That should be plenty. Don't even have to get into the noise. Don't know what they are. Now I have um, filled that up and you can see this tray is pretty empty now. And I emptied out all the stuff from around my Tracyanum. I've been sort of surrounded. I still have two Gower Ramseys here. They're long blooms. I mean, try to enjoy them. Uh, and voids requires having cats not eat them. <sighs> there, just stick those right there for now. I've got some other plants all just kind of stuck all down underneath my racks. Um, I try to save some of the rest of them for um, the fall show and sale so the iOS can, I don't know, make money and have speakers and events and such. Oh, this is my Paul Eugene Conroy. The third, the third bulb's almost open. Look, I love how long the tendrils are. So this is a Phragmopedium and you can just see how very, very long the tendrils are. Well, I like that. Um, don't normally grow them. It's pretty tall. It's a little bit hard to see because of bright, bright light outside. Uh, crinkling's a bag. I've got, oh, I have more plants in here, which you also can't really see because of the bright light. I've got, that's an Awanagara apple blossom over there. That's fantastic. Um, that was doing really well until Pinto discovered it and then you see he decided to eat part of it. All right, now time to pick plants for the show table. So this is kind of hard because I really want to take my Guatemalensis. Let's see if we can get a good video of it. Hi, Jeannie. So here's the Guatemalensis way up here. Um, it is definitely drying out from afar. It looks really good, but when you get closer, especially to the flowers that are on the right over here, closer to the sun, they're dry. So presentation wise, it's not so good. It's also huge. I mean, huge. So I have, let's see, I have a Carrie Stromsland Elizabeth that's right in front of it. Um, if you want to get an idea of how 
huge this plant is. Here's the Stroms of Elizabeth. Here's my hand. So you can see, um, like, that's a big, big plant. It'd be a pain that took us to move it. Previous years, I have not taken it for show table judging because it's just so large. I think if I took it, it'd have to be the only plant I took. And I just don't know that it could even show well because the flowers are dry. I don't even think I could show you how horribly dry they are. Trying to get the ladder close enough. So if you see right here, see, look at the edges of those flowers. See how dry they are? Right? Like that's just, and look how dry that is. Um, oh. I just saw a comment that someone made about um, if there's any fragrant plants that I have that I'm getting rid of. Honestly, I have such bad nasal condition. I don't even know what my stuff is fragrant. Um, I don't smell anything in here. I mean, I just don't smell. But I am reminded that I need to pick plants out of the raffle. I'm thinking of taking these tiny little Catalea seedlings in. Um, they probably should all be watered. They look a little dry. Well, this isn't a Catalea seedling. That's an encyclia, a lot of piece. But these right here, you can see all these right here. These are all Catalea seedlings, band of root that's fallen off. You know, we could bring in like five or six of these different ones. Someone's laughing at me. Oh, <laughs> Cupid. <laughs> Says, these are my, these are my bunny kickers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are his bunny kickers. All right. Less cat, more orchids. I don't have anything against cats. <laughs> Let us not talk about how many cats we're supposed to have. You realize I've got like 200 and like 50 cat aleas, right man? Right? Like, <laughs> I think we have seriously already exceeded the cat limit in this house. All right, so. Can we make orchid We cannot make an orchid limit. Orchid limits are banned, not allowed. <laughs> I've obeyed the strategic orchid limitation, which is that they stay in this room when they're not in bloom. Yeah. No! <laughs> Wait! You have plants in the kitchen. They're in flower? That's part of the strategic orchid limitation? <laughs> oh, I love this rojo. I think it should go. I mean, it could be more floriferous. Here's, here's the limitation of doing this on live because, you know, I totally can't focus on these flowers. Oh, I can't take this one. The flowers are going. Look at that. It's got some marks on it. Um, okay, I have lots of stuff in bloom. Um, 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 uh, my Cuthbertsonii are still in bloom. Uh, my Agrigatum is in bud. It's got one 
bendy bud in there. See that bendy bud that didn't position properly because it got caught against. Now I don't want to break it off. It got caught against like the hook. My maxillaria is in bloom. I already gave away all the extras in my maxillarias like last year. Um, knocked off one flower last week. It's got one bud and one, two, three flowers, and of course, missing bud. Okay, so rough plants, water some stuff. I've only got like 35% humidity going on in here right now, so I'm gonna just water my cup for sodium before they desiccate. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, I have to admit, I could probably spend hours here trying to decide which plant should go to the show table tomorrow. Um, because I'm only taking one bulb crate. So that limits me. I'm just watering the Tolumnias while I'm watering. My hand is starting to cramp. Uh... My yellow bird is done. It's so done. So totally done. The Lodigassi is not open yet. See, there's the Lodigassi in the side. The Jenkinsy is not ready. You can even see it. This light's so bright. It's in the shade. I hope it's still getting enough light. All right, so I know I'm gonna bring this to the raffle. This is a no ID phalaenopsis. Um, I forgot it uh, for the spring show. I basically forgot that I had it because it was over by the window because I was trying not to break the spike again. So I hope I remember tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna move it yet because if I put it on the ground right now, I'm sure to knock it over and break the spike on it. Um, it's a pretty cute multi-floral right here, purple, pink, whatever your choice of color on that is. And my mac room is still in bloom. So this went to the iOS spring show. I think it sent it to a couple of away shows. Um, it has three spikes in bloom, one tiny little one that's finishing up right there. Again, I cannot focus on this because this is like live video. This is my Dendosa right here. Um, I haven't done anything except mist it like this with the hand sprayer like all winter. It was in bloom for a long time, but for some reason, my Nadosa this year, I couldn't smell anything from it. It was like totally not scented. Oh, here's my Maggie Daly. And if you saw my other video where I was trying to figure out like um, how I knew this was white, that I realized when I looked at the tag in that video, so you see it's Maggie Daly. I was Googling the wrong Daly. I was doing D-A-L-E-Y instead of D-A-L-Y. So if you do D-A-L-Y, then it pops up this beautiful white flower. Uh, and apparently, at least there's one at Longwood Gardens. Um, not that I saw it when I lived in Philadelphia, but apparently Longwood has it. So, oh, this just opened up. 
Um, this is, I can't remember what the actual Kono name is, but this is Jamaica Red by Peggy Huffman. And I can't remember what that makes it, but it's this, it's this purplish red. It looks red red here, but it is this purpley colored red. Um, it's got a lot of Bretonia in it. Uh, it's a very reliable bloomer. So, let's see. So that's the choice. Do I bring down the giant Guatemalensis way up there, or do I not? I have a lot of like purple Cataleas in bloom. So I like I have this one with a um, Karen Strom's and Elizabeth, and I have a Lake Kachuma New Spring here that's in bloom, totally on the back side of my shelf. I would have to move. You know, and it is not opening up well. I mean, look at how, whoop, whoop, drop the phone. Um, so, uh, see, it's not opening up well. See how, like, close, it's just not ready yet, or I have perhaps failed to get enough water, and it's suffering. It's my major problem. Um, if you have this many orchids, sometimes some of them just don't get enough water. It is Arantiaca season, so I have I have several different Arantiaca. So I have this orange one that has just a couple. Again, focus on this is terrible. Um, just a couple spots on it, and then I think this is a different Arantiaca right here. And um, I think that one has more spots on the lip. So like I have. A little bit of spotty and then I have a lot of spotty and then I have a yellow version which I have never gotten to flower I bought it as a seedling from Oak Hill Gardens and it has literally it's right here see compared to those look how small it is I don't know if it's a runt um, I mean the other ones are also in semi hydroponics so this is an Aurea, and it's really, um, it's not going to bloom this year either. I don't know. I don't know what it needs. That's the hardest part about buying seedlings, and that they turn out to be like duds. Um, you just struggle with them for years, and they do nothing. They have another Aurea. I think I bought two seedlings from them. This one at least has a dried sheath, not doing anything. Okay. Here's this one's still in bloom. The other thing about bringing these to the show table is like, you know, this has basically two flowers on it. I don't think it's very worth it. Um, oh, and it's also gotten a little weirdly warm something. So I don't think I'm not going to take that. I've got a lot of Lendendrobiums. I mean, this looks really nice despite the fact that I have had bunches of buds not open on it. This is my mini snowflake, I believe, that I got from the Chicago Botanic Gardens. I've got, this is a Colmenar Wildcat right here. I think it's the Carmella. This is Carmella and then Carmella has another spike. take that though it's kind of okay for a wildcat this is very not impressive let me say that like super not impressive um so i don't know oh my my dendrobium goldschmidt annum that i got um opened up its second set of buds so there's just two of them this time um there might have been one more that was too dry. I think this one does not take a winter rest. You're supposed to water it more, but I, you know, basically watered it when I remembered to. And so, um, but I was really surprised because it bloomed once um, earlier, uh, back in uh, January, and then now see it's blooming 
again. I have got, oh, yeah, I have like way too much stuff in bloom. I can't decide. I can't take this Sunny Delight. Um, we have a six month rule uh, with my Orchid Society. So for our show table, you have to have owned it six months uh, before you can bring it in for show table judging. So when we bring stuff in for show table judging, I get 10 points for a first place and five points for a second place and one point for just bringing a plant in um, even if it doesn't get a little sticker ribbon. And uh, at the end of the year, you get something for it, like a gift certificate. Um, I've been getting gift certificates. Last year I got a $75 gift certificate to Hausermans, which I used to buy, yes, more orchids. Um, in the year before I got a $50 gift certificate to uh, Nats, which I also used to buy more orchids. Like, um, I'm trying to think, like, oh, that, that Encyclia vitalina right there, that's damaged flower, I got that from Nats using my gift certificate. So it's totally worth it to bring in lots of plants for the show table and build up your points throughout the year. All right, we're gonna be brave. We're gonna see if we can bring down that herb tiaka. I don't know if I can. Uh, I'm gonna have to move all kinds of plants. I'm gonna have to move these dendrobiums that are right here. Um, I'm gonna have to move my epigottum. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move all these flowering plants in case I drop anything to get that one out. Once again, popping this up on my potting table. I don't know. Is this a good view for everybody? Can I even tell? Apparently not. It falls and then everybody's looking at the ceiling. This is much better. I could just prop you up. I guess I'll prop you up with the water bottle again. What, Dannon? What's, what's, what, what?
I have to stop doing this live stream because apparently my daughter's infected her surface with malware.